Okay, so now I'll explain the very basic part of this system. So there are quite many uh, well modes in the system, and you can switch a uh, bit among these modes by pressing hotkeys. So and the current uh, mode is displayed at the bottom right of the screen. So now it's current uh, basic sketching mode, uh, whose hotkey is Q. And then uh, W hotkey is deform curve mode, and E hotkey is for laser sketching mode, and R for cylinder sketching, and T for edit corner mode, and A for edit topology, S query database, D move vertex, and F edge loop. So that's it. So it's like nine modes. Um, and yeah, I'll explain each of them uh, in later. Uh, but the, the basic sketching is the very basic and fun, uh, central part of the system. And uh, in this mode, you can just uh, draw curves through the, on the surface. And uh, yeah, the, you can uh, uh, make a crossing between uh, strokes. And the crossing part is depicted as a red point, and this becomes a corner of a patch. And also, you can start your stroke uh, from some end point of an existing curve, uh, stroke. And yeah, this will also become a corner. And uh, if your strokes uh, form a closed region, a polygonal region, then the system automatically generates a patch consisting of multiple qua quadrilaterals. All right, and yeah, I would, it's possible to also uh, continue, uh, if you just uh, start sketching from the end point of an existing uh, old, uh, existing stroke, then you will get a corner at the beginning of the stroke, as shown in this red um, circle. And if you want to avoid that and just uh, in extend the existing stroke, you can do it by uh, holding control and drawing a stroke like this. Also, you can erase existing stro uh, curve segment uh, by holding C and then drawing a stroke that crosses um, such, you know, strokes. So, yeah, you, it deletes all the strokes that it touches. Um, and uh, you also you can do undo and redoing by so undo is control Z and control Z control Z and redoing is control Y also uh, you can smooth the stroke by holding shift and dragging over the stroke over this curve um, yeah, that's the basic uh, mode of this uh, basic sketching tool. Uh, also, uh, it's important to notice that there is a, a snapping uh, threshold or distance, um, which is indicated as a uh, this this little circle around the mouse cursor, and this represents the radius of snapping. So if your stroke uh, touches, uh, if if the position where your stroke starts uh, falls within this distance uh, to existing uh, corner or something, then then it will be snapped to that corner. And this is also true for uh, when you snap your stroke to existing curve segment like this. Um, Otherwise, um, it's treated as a, you know, um, not snapped, and uh, this this distance is uh, um, screen uh, constant uh, has constant size in the screen space. So uh, you will have coarse coarser control when you are far away from the model. And if you want to get a really accurate and fine final control, then it, uh, it's, you should just uh, simply zoom in, and then you get a 
higher control in the smaller area. Um, yeah. Um, and also, yeah, if you like, you can uh, change the radius of this snapping by holding shift and dragging with the right mouse button. But I would suggest uh, that you have this distance something like that. It's not extremely large, but this is just a personal um, preference. Okay, um, and then it's extremely important that you save the current uh, state, uh, uh, current modeling data, um, and the format is XML. Um, you can do it by clicking this Save XML, and also uh, the shortcut key for it is Control S, um, and you can save it to. Um, And uh, the file name is now displayed as in, in the title bar of the window. And also notice that when you do some uh, changes uh, to the current uh, data, then the system uh, indicates that the current data is not yet saved as by adding little asterisk, asterisk to uh, yeah in the title bar. And uh, there is an autosave option, uh, and this saves the automatically saves the current uh, state status uh, after this specific, uh, in this case, thirty seconds has passed. So now the the asterisk has disappeared, and this means that the current state is already uh, you know automatically saved. So because th this is important, because the system sometimes crashes, uh, of course. But also, you can explicitly, you know, save it by just control, pressing Control S. Um, yeah, that's it.